I can't believe Hawk's finally getting out of this hospital. God, it feels like he's been in here for years. Yeah, I know it's only been a few weeks. They had to make sure his leg reset properly before sending him home. The bones in bird-like and beasts are so... fragile. If the bone doesn't reset properly... I really don't want to think about what might have happened. Hmm? Oh! Uh, yeah, I'm okay, babe. Seriously, I'm fine. It sucks that I'm on leave until the investigation is closed, but I've gotten in touch with Lyra and we've already gone over the game plan for court. Apparently, Cameron and her boot even offered to investigate what happened in the barn. Yeah, I was surprised too. I have a feeling it was more the boot's idea than hers, though. <laughs> no way Cameron Lewis volunteers to help a lichen beast on her own. Hmm? You think she's changed? Cameron Lewis? One of the most anti lichen officers in the entire department, aside from the Chief himself? I swear, the only reason Chief Lewis lets us work in his station is because he's required to by law. And Cameron? Yeah, I guess she's become more tolerable, but that's only because she's sucking up to her grandpa. Word around the office is that she's on her last warning. One more complaint from a lichen beast and she's fired. You think her boot has been a good influence on her? Hmm. Yeah, I guess I can agree. But enough about Cameron. How are things going with you and Lacey? She took you out for lunch the other day, right? Oh, wow. Things are still that awkward between you two? Okay, fair enough. Going from being an only child to suddenly having a sister is a pretty big life change. And what about your birth parents? Have you two talked about setting up a meeting with them yet? R really? Lacey hasn't even told them that she's found you yet? Why not? She's afraid of their reaction. Well, I mean, you're their son. You were kidnapped at birth. I understand that they had a happy family with Lacey's other brother, but you were robbed of that by a pair of selfish... Uh, oh. Shit, babe, I'm sorry. I know they were the only parents you ever knew. But when I remember everything they did to you, I... I just... <sighs> I'm sorry, love. I can't promise I'll speak of them kindly, but I'll try. For you. Well, we're here. Hawk's room. He's, uh... He's right inside. Unless you think he's left already. Maybe he's already checked out. We should probably just head home and I'll give him a call or maybe I'll send a letter. Nothing's wrong, babe. <laughs> I, I just think that, uh, you know, maybe we should give the lieutenant his space. You know, I mean, <laughs> he just went through a very, very traumatic experience. I... I attacked him. I could have killed him. I would have killed him if you hadn't stopped me. What if... What if he doesn't want to see me? I can respect that. I, I would totally respect that. I mean, I certainly wouldn't want to see the face of my attempted murderer ever again. I already saw to that. N nothing, babe. Let's just go home. I'll give Hawk a call when we... Jason? How did you know we were here? I could hear you panicking through my door, Olivia. Not exactly subtle. I wasn't panicking. You were, and you still are. 
Just come inside, both of you. There's actually something I need to discuss with you. Mm, okay. Uh, Jason? Who's the old man asleep on the couch? <laughs> That's my dad. I forget you've never met him before. One of his old Air Force buddies brought him over here when I was admitted. He's been at my bedside ever since. Uh, oh. Um. Jason, I- Olivia, if you're about to stand there and start apologizing for what you did in the barn, then you can just stop. But- No, Olivia. Your behavioral chip was forcibly removed on the night of a full harvest moon by someone you trusted. Not only that, but your life mate was in danger. You were running on pure instinct. You saw everything and everyone as a threat. You weren't yourself. I understand that. But Jason, I hurt you. Your mate is right. Veronica tricked all of us. If we had just thought about looking into her, then we might have prevented all of this. But she was smart. She led us all to believe that she was our friend. That she had nothing to hide and nothing worth investigating. She is the one responsible for everything that happened. Everything we went through. Veronica is. Not you. Jason, I... Olivia, you're not just my subordinate. You're my friend. And as your friend, I'm asking you to believe me when I say that I don't blame you for what happened. Please, Liv. You've known me long enough to know when I'm being honest. I know, Jason. I do. I... I just... Enough. What happened was horrible, but it's over now. Veronica is dead. Your mate is safe, and so am I. And we're still friends, Liv. Don't doubt that. Besides, I think this makes up for the time I accidentally slammed your tail on the station door. We're even now. <coughs> broken tail is in no way the same as a broken leg. <laughs> I don't know. You've still got that bend in your tail, don't you? Shut up! Not in front of my mate! <laughs> <laughs> so how much longer until you're back in the office? Oh. I'm guessing you haven't heard. Heard what? I, uh... I'm not going back to the station. What? Why not? You didn't get fired, did you? No, no. Quite the opposite, actually. And I got scouted by the FBI. The FBI? The hell do the feds want you for? They were really impressed with how I handled Veronica's case. Well, not just hers. All of the serial killer cases I've worked on. Hmm? What was that, babe? Hawks are the cases. Yeah, when I said this guy's logic is practically flawless, I meant it. He's the reason that the South Street Strangler and the Bachelor Butcher are behind bars. He was the one who found the connections and patterns that led to their arrests. Oh, stop, please. You don't need to tell me how impressive I am. Seriously, babe, you don't. If Jason's head fills with any more hot air, he's likely to explode. Very funny. <laughs> So the FBI wants you to... what? Help them with a case? Not just a single case. They want me to transfer to their BAU. What's the BAU? It stands for Behavioral Analysis Unit. Basically, they study patterns in a person's behavior in order to track down serial killers. They said I could provide some fresh eyes in a case they've been working on. What sort of case? I don't know all of the details just yet, but from what I could gather, someone has been kidnapping lichen beasts and forcing them to inhale some kind of drug. This drug causes the person to show all the typical symptoms of moon madness, even in the middle of the day. The feds are calling it moon dust. So, this guy is getting lichen beasts doped up on this moon dust and doing what exactly? <sighs> They're setting them loose in heavily populated areas. The beasts go on a drug-induced killing spree before they are either shot by the police, or their heart bursts from the sheer adrenaline. As of right now, the total number of people who were kidnapped and doped up are seven, and the total casualties from the sprees are somewhere near 150. My god. 
So this killer is using these poor people as a murder weapon. That's seriously sick. Yeah, and if this drug starts circulating through the black market, we have to stop it before this guy decides to sell it. Yeah, but that means you're leaving? Moving away? Yeah, they've already gotten me a new place over in Quantico. What about your dad? Doesn't he have dementia? He'll be moving in with me, but I'm going to look into a retirement home for him. When his Air Force buddy dropped him off, he was telling me about this home for veterans. They have a great memory program there to help people like my dad. And with the paycheck I'll be getting from the FBI, I'll finally be able to afford getting him some around-the-clock care. (laughs) And I think my neighbor will appreciate not having to check in on him every hour while I'm at work. So, this move will benefit you both. But... I'm going to miss you, Jason. I'll miss you too, Liv. But I'm always a phone call away. And you can be sure I'll be back to visit. I'll be back for your wedding, and the birth of your first litter, and- Jason! My mate and I haven't even begun to discuss that stuff yet. We're not- uh, I I mean, we we don't- Um. (laughs) You two should see yourselves. Your faces are so red. Jason, I'm gonna... Be gentle with me. I'm still recovering, and my bones are fragile. Why are you... Ugh. You're an ass. I hope you know that. Indeed I do. It is a badge of honor I wear proudly every day. <laughs> 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 mm-hmm.